What's up guys, April 17th, 2017, Monday basketball for you. You've seen the title, you know what's up. I'm about to lose it, but I'm going I'm to try to keep as calm as possible. I'm going to keep as calm as possible. You're probably hearing Stephen A. Smith from uh, ESPN First Take yelling uh, in the background. I have my computer right here. It's pretty much how I feel right now. I want to scream. I want to rant. But I'm trying to be as calm as possible. Probably rant anyway. So bear with me. Phil freaking Jackson. I do not care for your rings. Your 11 rings, I don't care if you're one of the greatest head coaches of all time. I don't care if you brought two championships to this franchise. The only two championships to the New York Knicks. I absolutely don't care. Screw you. Screw James Dolan and his pathetic fat ass. You guys are absolute disgraces. Absolute disgrace. The way how they treated Carmelo Anthony is beyond disgusting. Would be better off somewhere else. It, it may be soft to everybody else outside the New York Knicks. But to the New York Knicks fan club, that's pretty much saying, fuck you. I'm gonna kick, you're kicking your ass out the door. Don't come back. We don't want you here anymore. They, they pretty much saying that. They saying get the hell out of town. That is by far shameful from this franchise. We just went through one of the most horrible, controversial seasons in New York Knicks history, in my opinion. Derrick Rose with his missing self. Um, being a complete bust for the for the franchise. Joe King Noah, one of the worst contracts out here right now, and we're suffering from it. It's like Stud Studemeyer contract all over again. We're stuck with the cap space now. Now we just have to wait until his contract is up before we can just get rid of his ass. We traded so many guys, including including Tim Hardaway Jr. Like I said, I love that guy. And he's shown to be to be a person of great value. And I'm just like, we don't trade um, Tim Hardaway Jr. We didn't we traded J.R. Smith. We traded Iman Shumper. Both guys become champions in a couple years later. We got that Barinari um, trade deal from Toronto that went in complete shit. So many things. So many things. The head coach situation. All respect to he um, Jeff Hornacek, but he should never have been that guy. I would say he should never have been that guy. He is no scrub. He's been our best head coach in the last couple of years since... Mike Woodson, who should never have been fired in the first place. He should never have been fired in the first place. Jeff Hornacek is the most decent. Derek Fisher, the former Lakers, newbie head coach. Hasn't played, hasn't coached in his career. So bad of a season. I think this is the one with the 60... 60 um, losses season with him. Kurt Rammis. Absolute joke of a head coach. Tim Wolves record. Check that. And you will explain why. And if not, check the New York Knicks record. It will explain why. This is absolutely disgraceful. This is all on Phil Jackson and James Dolan. Phil Jackson, yo, you pathetic piece of crap. And you get two years now. 
You get two years of our lives. Us New York Knicks fans. You're kicking Carmelo Anthony to the curb. This guy has been loyal. You can say what you want about Carmelo Anthony, about being a leader, passing the ball, no defense. This guy shows up. He shows with effort. This guy does not try to cheat you of anything. He's been loyal from the beginning because, of course, we're in an age of loyalty being a big concept with Kevin Durant, LeBron James situation a couple years ago. Now, you have we have somebody who's absolutely loyal to the franchise, and you're kicking this ass to the curb. In the wake, of course, Carmelo Anthony is best for him to leave because we're not looking like we're going anywhere for the last next couple of years. So it's best for you to go while you could be still of value to a team. But the way how they're kicking this guy to the curb is absolutely insulting. Christian Brzingis is even insulted by this. He left the damn country, go back to his native country because he's so disgusted about this franchise and this stupid crap. Oh, man, man, man. I'm going to cut off right here and leave your comments below about this situation with Phil Jackson, of course, especially my New York Knicks fans. Um... Also, of course, people outside, I want to see your intake of this situation. Like, this is killing us so badly, man. I can't. Peace.